My name is Paul Benyon. I'm a sales engineer here at Hard Dollar Corporation. And for today's session, we're going to learn about how you can handle last minute quotes that come in from suppliers or subcontractors when they uh, call in last minute changes and be able to uh, handle those changes quickly and efficiently and still get the bid out the door on time and hopefully win the work. So to get started, the screen that you see here is our pay item screen. This represents the deliverable items that you have in your estimate. And you'll notice that I have most of it already estimated out. Uh, and I'm, I'm basically just about ready to finish up this estimate and submit my proposal. Uh, I've balanced my project, so I have no, uh, nothing to add or cut at this point to the job. If we look at the breakdown of each of these items, this is handled in my cost breakdown structure where I have broken down those pay items into uh, greater detail with crews and, and production and costs on each of those items. But there are a couple items that I have decided not to self-perform. I'm subcontracting them out and they're located down here towards the bottom of my estimate. You'll see that I have two quotes that I sent out and actually received back and I have subcontractor number one uh, that has uh, that I have awarded to these two types of guardrail work that are going to be done. But let's say at, at the last minute I have a separate subcontractor that calls in and wants to make an adjustment to his quote. So I can go to my comparison screen on my comparison screen for those two guardrail items, I have the quote, awarded quote to subcontractor number one, and I have the subcontractor number two. And the lowest bidder is always on the left. And uh, the other subcontractor, you'll notice that his pricing is higher at this point. But he calls in and says that he wants to do a 20% cut on his quote. So I can go ahead and straight from my comparison screen make a quick change by right clicking on the quote, clicking edit quote, and then that takes me straight to that particular subcontractor where I can go ahead and put in an adjustment amount. We'll do a 20% cut on each of my items that I, that I have here. That 20% cut is now applied, so we see how much dollar amount that takes off. And when I click OK, it jumps right back to my comparison screen. And we now see that it has resorted my quotes. The subcontractor that I just made that cut for is now on the left telling me he's the lowest bidder. So I'm going to go ahead and award to him by right clicking and clicking award all. As soon as I do that, if I jump back to my estimate, I see it now is awarded to him and it has adjusted the values for me. Now, making those adjustments, I need to take a look at how I have spread my, my costs, including my indirects and then also my profit, uh, back over my deliverable items. So I come back to my deliverable screen, refresh the pay items, and I see it now telling me that I need to cut $1,143 out of uh, the various items that I have. Now I could manually come down here and make that change, or I can come up to my tools and use the auto price feature in Hard Dollar and rebalance the project. When I rebalance, I now have zero cost variance, and within a matter of just a couple minutes, I've been able to handle a last minute cut and still get this estimate out the door. So hopefully this is helpful for you and we'll go ahead and wrap it up for today and look forward to speaking with you soon.